The Antigua and Barbuda national football team is the national team of Antigua and Barbuda and is controlled by the Antigua and Barbuda Football Association, a member of the Confederation of North, Central American and Caribbean Association Football and the Caribbean Football Union. Nickname <inaudible> 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 The official nickname of the Antigua and Barbuda national football team is the Bena Boys due to the indigenous music of the country. The name was selected in a contest with the fanbase in 2012 after the team advanced to the third round of the 2014 World Cup qualifiers. The Bena Boys beat out other entries in the contest such as Beach Boys, Iron Bandits, Rhythm Warriors and Party Crashers. In the past, the national team was unofficially known as the Wadadli Boys, another name that was in the contest but did not win. History Topic: 1972 First international matches The Antigua and Barbuda Football Association became affiliated with the Fédération Internationale de Football Association FIFA and Confederation of North, Central American and Caribbean Association Football in 1970. The first official FIFA match played by Antigua and Barbuda was away against Trinidad and Tobago in Port of Spain, Trinidad on 10 November 1972 for a home and away series during 1974 FIFA World Cup qualification. Trinidad and Tobago won the first match 11–1, making this result Antigua and Barbuda's worst loss in team history. The Soka Warriors also won the second leg in St. John's, Antigua 2–1 nine days later. 1998 Fourth place finish in the 1998 Caribbean Cup Finals The 1998 Caribbean Cup, hosted by Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago, saw Antigua and Barbuda, led by Serbian coach Zoran Vrains, serve up a surprise as they reached the semi-finals of the competition. In the qualifying round, the Bena boys had an unbeaten string of matches securing progression to group stages of the finals. Antigua were placed in Group 4, along with Granada, Guyana and Anguilla. A 2-2 draw to Guyana in the opening game was followed by a 7-0 thrashing of Anguilla, in which the Bena boys were rampant. All this before a narrow 2-1 victory over Granada, who finished in second spot on six points. Winning two matches and drawing one saw Antigua and Barbuda top the group with seven points, sealing their progression to the group stage of the Caribbean Cup Finals. In the group stage, there were two groups. Antigua and Barbuda were put into Group A with their first match coming against a very talented Trinidad and Tobago team, a match they narrowly lost 3-2. A 2-1 win over Dominica followed, with Derek Edwards and Winston Roberts grabbing the crucial goals that gave Antigua the platform to carry onto the final tie against Martinique, and a 5-1 hammering of the latter was assured. The performances in the aforementioned three matches saw Antigua and Barbuda get second place in the group and qualify for the knockout phase of the tournament. The Bena boys' first and only qualification to the knockout round saw them pitted against the heavy favorites of the tournament, Jamaica's reggae boys. Antigua and Barbuda did so well to keep their fierce rivals at bay for normal time, until Onandi Lowe struck in the 110th minute of extra time to send Antigua and Barbuda into a third-place playoff with Haiti who lost to Trinidad and Tobago in the other semi-final. That would produce a magnificent encounter, with Antigua ending up the losing team in a five-goal thriller. Von Christopher and Ranjay Christian bagged the duo of goals for Antigua and Barbuda but it wasn't enough to grab third place and a bronze medal. To this day, placing fourth in this edition of the Caribbean Cup is the highest achievement for the Bena boys. Semi-finals Third place playoff Topic: 2005 First UEFA opponent On December 17, 2005 the Antigua and Barbuda national team played their first and only ever match against a European opponent after the Hungarian Football Federation invited the Bena boys to play Hungary in an international friendly at Lockhart Stadium in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This was the first match coached by former national striker Derek Edwards. 
Antigua and Barbuda went down early in the 10th minute when Christian Vidoc's tricky footwork saw him evade three defenders and fired past goalkeeper Elvis Anthony to make it 1-0. Then in the 32nd minute, the Hungarians doubled the scoreline when Robert Fetchison easily redirected a Daniel Totzer free kick with his head past Anthony, who failed to just quickly enough. The Hungarians then added a third 10 minutes from time through Istvan Ferenczi, who fired home from just outside the six yards box. Topic: 2011-2012 Historical run in 2014 World Cup qualifying. Antigua and Barbuda, led by Tom Curtis, made a historic run to the third round of CONCACAF qualifying for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. They received a bye from the first round of CONCACAF qualifiers and were grouped with the U.S. Virgin Islands, Curaçao, and Haiti in the second round. Their first match was at home to Curaçao. After conceding the first goal, the Bena boys came back to win the match 5-2. Next, Antigua and Barbuda played away to the U.S. Virgin Islands and won convincingly 8-1. In their third fixture, Antigua and Barbuda had to play a tricky away match at Curaçao. Tamarly Thomas scored the game-winning goal in the 73rd minute to give Antigua and Barbuda all three points. Up next in their fourth fixture of the second round was a home match versus the U.S. Virgin Islands. Antigua and Barbuda wasted little time before scoring the opening goal. In this match, the Bena boys made history with an emphatic 10-0 win that saw Peter Byers and Tamarly Thomas both scoring hat-tricks. This was the biggest win in Antigua and Barbuda football history. While Antigua and Barbuda easily beat the U.S. Virgin Islands, Curaçao drew away at Haiti. This meant that Haiti needed at least a draw in their next match in Antigua to stay alive in the competition. On November 11, 2011, Antigua and Barbuda played versus Haiti at home. This match proved difficult for the Bena boys. For large spells of the match Haiti had majority of the possession and almost scored on a number of occasions including hitting the post twice in the first half. In the second half, Haiti was content on settling for a draw knowing that the next match was in Port-au-Prince and would be favored to win. In the 82nd minute, Antigua and Barbuda opened up the deadlock with a strike from Kerry Skeppel. After the goal, Haiti pressed for the equalizer and forced goalkeeper Mulvin James to make some terrific saves. Antigua and Barbuda won this match 1-0 and advanced to the third round of CONCACAF qualifying thus eliminating Haiti with a game to spare. In the final match, the Bena boys lost in the return leg in Haiti 2-1. Winning this group saw Antigua and Barbuda's FIFA world ranking go to 83rd, their highest ever at the time. In the third round, Antigua and Barbuda were grouped with Jamaica, Guatemala and the United States. The first fixture in his group was an away match to the United States. Most people were expecting a convincing win by the U.S. but Antigua and Barbuda made it a competitive game. After conceding the first two goals from Carlos Bocanegra and Clint Dempsey in the 8th and the 44th minute respectively, Peter Byers scored a goal on a through pass from Michele Ligertwood to bring the match to 2-1 in the 65th minute. The Bena boys were somehow trying to equalize but that came to an end in the 72nd minute when Hercules Gomez scored a goal. The match ended in a 3-1 loss but Antigua and Barbuda gained respect for standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a CONCACAF giant. Up next was a home match to Jamaica. It ended in 0-0 draw gaining their first ever point in the third round of World Cup qualifying. Next, was another tough road test versus Guatemala in the pouring rain that saw some areas of field flooded. Surprisingly, Antigua and Barbuda opened the scoring in the 39th minute from Peter Byers and took the lead into half-time. In the second half, Carlos Ruiz leveled the match at 1-1 in the 60th minute. It went from bad to worse when they were reduced to 10 men. Mulvin James received a second yellow card for time wasting and Ruiz scored another goal to take the lead three minutes later. In the 91st minute Dwight Pizarosi sealed the match 3-1. The return leg against Guatemala in Antigua saw Guatemala win 1-0 on a wonder strike from Carlos Ruiz in the 25th minute. A home match versus the United States was the next on the schedule. The United States opened up the scoring in the 20th minute on a header from Eddie Johnson but then five minutes later the Bena boys leveled the score from Dexter Blackstock from a Peter Byers pass. The match saw both teams have chances to take the lead even though the U.S. had majority of the possession. 
Unfortunately, Antigua and Barbuda conceded a late goal, again off of an Eddie Johnson header in the 90th minute. The match ended in a 2-1 defeat thus eliminating them from advancing to the next round. The final match of the third round was a 4-1 loss away to Jamaica ending their 2014 World Cup qualifying campaign. Topic 2016 friendly arranged with Estonia It was announced by the Estonian Football Association on May 2, 2016 that their national team will play Antigua and Barbuda in an international friendly on November 22. It will be the Bena boys second match ever versus a European opponent. Estonia won the game 1-0. Topic 2018 drug bust in Jamaica after two creditable friendly results During March 2018 FIFA International Window the Antigua and Barbuda Bena boys first played Bermuda at home at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium and won narrowly 3-2 through Reese Brown in the first half, capitalizing on a defensive error and Joshua Parker from a header off of a short corner kick and two minutes later Miles Weston dribbling past a defender on the right wing and curling in a shot in the top corner of the goal. A few days later Antigua and Barbuda earned a hard-fought 1-1 draw away to Jamaica at Sabina Park, leveling in the last seconds of match from a header from Peter Byers. On the team's preparation for their departure back to Antigua, assistant coach Derek Edwards and equipment manager Danny Benjamin were arrested and charged with possession of marijuana, dealing in marijuana, taking steps to export marijuana, and conspiracy at the Norman Manley International Airport. Shocked by this discovery of this crime, it is made to believe that they may have been set up by an unknown person or persons. Initially Edwards was awarded bail but Benjamin was held without bail but after a month both Edwards and Benjamin were placed under house arrest and curfew along with giving up their travel documents. Both men have since been acquitted of the crime on June 14, citing there was not enough evidence to prove their involvement in the carrying the drugs with the intention of smuggling the drugs out of Jamaica. Rivalries The Antigua and Barbuda Bena boys' biggest rivals are with the St. Kitts and Nevis Sugar boys dating back from the inauguration of the Leeward Islands Tournament in 1949. In that tournament in particular, St. Kitts and Nevis has the majority of wins in the head-to-head -head meetings. Although in FIFA a international matches both teams have the same number of wins in the head-to-head -head meetings whether in Caribbean Cup qualifying or international friendlies. The rivalry has calmed down a bit due to the Leeward Islands tournament not being played since 2003. Another rival to a much lesser degree is with Haiti. Overall, Haiti has the better all-time head-to-head record with seven wins to Antigua and Barbuda's two along with three draws between them. The rivalry in recent years comes from both World Cup qualifying and Gold Cup qualifying with Antigua and Barbuda eliminating Haiti in 2011 in the 2014 World Cup qualifiers and then the following year in 2012, Haiti eliminated Antigua and Barbuda from reaching the 2013 CONCACAF Gold Cup. Stadiums <inaudible> 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 Antigua Recreation Ground The original home stadium of the Antigua and Barbuda national football team. Located in the heart of the capital, St. John's, right on Independence Avenue. The maximum capacity that this stadium can hold is roughly 12,000 spectators. Currently the team plays there for international friendlies and sometimes the Caribbean Cup. In 2008, FIFA banned the ABFA from using this stadium for World Cup qualifiers, citing that it is a safety hazard. The last World Cup qualifier at the Antigua Recreation Grounds was a 1-0 victory against Aruba on March 26, 2008. <laughs> Sir Vivian Richards Stadium Another home venue for the Bena Boys, which is located in North Sound, a 10-20 minute drive from St. John's, the capital city. This more modern, state-of-the-art venue holds up to 10,000 people. 
Since 2008, Sir Vivian Richards Stadium has hosted mainly World Cup qualifiers, the first match being a 4-3 loss to Cuba on June 17, 2008. <laughs> Past and present crests These are the crests used over the years by the Antigua and Barbuda national football team. Kits Kit manufacturer The current kit of the Antigua and Barbuda national football team are manufactured by British company Admiral on June 2016 in time for the second round of the 2017 Caribbean Cup qualifiers. The first kit is the gold combined with black for mainly the home matches and the red with the black are the away uniforms. Before Admiral, the team kits were from China-based Peak Sportswear. The Bena boys have worn that brand since 2012, after they qualified to the third round of the 2014 World Cup qualifiers. <laughs> kit evolution These are some of the kits worn over the years by the Antigua and Barbuda national football team over the years. Results and fixtures 2018 2019 All-time record against all opponents These all-time records are exclusively class A internationals matches. Key winning record Equal record Losing record Topic. Competition records Topic. World Cup record Topic Gold Cup record Topic Caribbean Cup record Asterisk 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 Red border color indicates that Antigua and Barbuda was the host nation. Key champion Runners up Third place Fourth place Qualified Topic Honors Regional Competition CFU Caribbean Cup Fourth Place One Nineteen Ninety Eight Topic Players Topic Current Squad The following players were called up for the 2019-20 CONCACAF Nations League qualifier versus Bahamas. Caps and goals updated as of September 7, 2018 after match against St. Lucia. Match dates, 13 October 2018 Opposition, Bahamas. Recent call-ups These are the players that were selected for the Antigua and Barbuda national football team in the last 12 months. Topic: Coaches. Topic: Current coaching staff. This is the current coaching staff of the Antigua and Barbuda national football team. Topic. Coaching history These are some of the head coaches of the Antigua and Barbuda national football team throughout the years. 